So welcome everybody in, in this demonstration style event. My name is Aaron Ford and I'm learning and development manager here at TechSoup. And I'm also an organizer of Alphabet Soup, which is TechSoup's LGBTQ plus affinity group. So now let's welcome Kate Tamra, who's the founder of Euphoria. And Kate was named one of America's greatest disruptors by Newsweek was an inaugural member of the AWS Impact Accelerator for Women Founders, a Halcyon Fellow, a Rock Health Fellow, and a Cedar sinai Accelerator Cohort 15 participant. She's a former TED Talk speaker and was recognized as one of Puget Sound Business Journal's Outstanding Voices, one of Go Magazine's 100 Women We Love, an inaugural stylist changemaker, and the Crowd, Bio the Crowd Botics Social Impact Award winner. And Kate is a proud woman who happens to be intersex. Bliss is a bank for the most vulnerable souls. And in this presentation, Kate will preview the latest build of Bliss, Bliss 4.0, which expands our focus from trans and intersex souls to include survivors and victims of domestic violence. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for the warm introduction and for everyone attending here. Um, so, yep. My name is Kate. I am intersex. And for the next five minutes, you can settle into my charcoal, uh, beautiful charcoal voice. So as mentioned, uh, Bliss is a bank. Um, and we're really excited to show y'all uh, the kind of preview of Bliss 4. It's a total reinvention of our thinking. And so without further ado, we're going to do a live demo. Um, and don't worry, nothing ever goes wrong with a live demo, so I'm sure it's going to go great. Um, so on the left side of the screen, you can see um, this is running on my uh, phone. Um, what I'm going to do is walk y'all through uh, our uh, onboarding process, or at least part of it, just to kind of share the ethos. And so, you know, banking is a really complicated and regulated space. And so we had to work incredibly hard to create something that wasn't just uh, profoundly secure and actionable but also ensures the dignity of our customers. So you can see when we start asking for information from the customer, we are being very, very clear where their data will appear and where it will see. Uh, to borrow from Same Same, um, that you know, fear and that need for privacy, um, especially for intersex and trans souls right now, um, is unfortunately deeply needed. Um, it also explains why the majority of our 100,000 users um, come from the rural. Uh, it's extraordinary to open a bank account um, in a city of only 100 people, um, and we're proud to just be starting this work. And so you can see we've got this, uh, let's see, what day is it, 26, uh, this beautiful kind of onboarding process. The way we think about these background videos is that it's kind of a positive form of dissociation in the sense that you know, these are windows for folk to look out uh, from, you know, as they're navigating their current hell and trying to, you know, find that next life. Um, so we're going to see if we can get that uh, that code uh, to, you know, come, you know, on time for us. So, yep, there we go. Um, less than five minutes. Pretty pleased with that. All right. And so we're just going to continue to proceed forward. Um, we ask for the user's pronouns, um, so we've kind of got the big threes and that we've also got, you know, the rolling pronouns, uh, which are certainly kind of a, a beautiful way of expression that we wanted to capture. And then we're working on the support for uh, custom pronouns. Um, we ask these to filter the, uh, in order to better filter the context of the app. Um, and then we also allow folks to uh, gain honorifics, uh, which are used in customer support practices. Um, I have to admit, you know, being a six foot tall, you know, intersex woman, um, it's really fun to hear Miss for the first time. Um, here you can see our focus groups. Uh, so within Bliss, there's a tremendous amount of content that helps people approximate the most pressing and financial goals of their life, as well as understanding kind of the actionable steps they need to take. Um, so for some, that may look like what it's like to take flight, which is an expensive and arduous process. Whereas for others, it could be, you know, starting hormone uh, uh, affirming therapy, or it could be, you know, even something as changing one's name, which is duly applicable to both cohorts. And so we see as we continue to move forward, Bliss is continuing to take a nurturing tone, providing a lot of compassion to the user and starting to pre-suggest some of the goals uh, that they may want to pursue. You know, here's a body goal, here's a mind goal, and then a soul goal to nurture you after you've kind of got, been through it. 
And then we have an amazing uh, banking as a service partner that allows us to have these beautiful, beautiful Visa cards with any name on them, as well as uh, getting cash back um, and earning about 5% annually through our innovative treasury uh, bill investing strategy. And so we're just gonna configure a pin here real quick. Name, great work, Kate. Okay, closing in on 30 seconds. But what's really important is that, you know, I just kind of want to show you, you know, this one final screen because I think it's really beautiful. I think it encapsulates exactly what we're going for from a UX perspective and the serenity we're trying to grant our customers with that. So here we're going to try to query, you know, uh, text code. We've got a lot of terms and conditions. And... I think with time, you can see these beautiful screens that offer people a world uh, beyond their own challenges. So please check us out at bliss.lgbt. Uh, my name's Kate, I'm easy to find. Uh, thanks y'all for taking the time. And yeah, I look forward to hearing the rest of you too.